Good afternoon, for those who are new. I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be discussing SCP-7096. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item number, SCP-7096. Object class, neutralized. Special containment procedures. All known SCP-7096 instances appear to have self-neutralized. All civilian witnesses of previously active SCP-7096 instances are to be properly amnesticized, and all casualties caused by said instances attributed to IRA-affiliated snipers. Description SCP-7096 refers to a series of road sign silhouettes capable of autonomous movement, restricted to the space occupied by the signs they inhabited. Footnote, the previous sentence fragment has been struck through. See additional documentation for more details. Located within several Irish roads from 1990 to 1994, the signs were accompanied by the words, Sniper at Work. These silhouettes were not capable of speech and didn't demonstrate signs of sapience or higher intelligence. They appeared to wear paramilitary combatant gear, carrying a rifle, and would become hostile at the sight of people. When a subject got within a close enough range of an SCP-7096 instance, the anomaly would shoot with its rifle, and the bullet would exit the sign, being fully capable of causing damage as any other bullet of its kind. As most SCP-7096 instances were located on rarely used roads, and the entities presented remarkably bad aim, only three casualties were caused by SCP-7096. Outside of this activity, SCP-7096 instances were mostly dormant. Addendum. On the 6th of April, 1994, SCP-7096 instances adopted a new position while in their dormant state, where they could be seen holding a cup and sitting in a chair. Additionally, SCP-7096 stopped showing any hostile attitudes towards humans for two days. On the 31st of August, 1994, SCP-7096 instances stopped showing hostile attitudes permanently. Additionally, many of them abandoned their home signs, and could now be seen inside several other dispersed road signs, mainly ones announcing construction works. They seemed to be wearing a tie and holding a paper, and appeared to be establishing a conversation with other road sign figures, who now also demonstrated the capability to move at will. Whether this effect was caused by SCP-7096 interaction, or if it's a phenomenon present in other road signs other than SCP-7096, is currently unknown. Two months later, all SCP-7096 instances had abandoned their native road signs, leaving them empty. Additionally, it was reported that many construction signs now featured two figures. Further research is ongoing. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.